Hello, so all this talk of, of East Const, it got me thinking, is there anything else in C++ that will benefit from moving further east? And it turns out there is. So we're all familiar with uh, trailing return type syntax, where we put an auto at the front of a function, and then we move the, uh, the return type to, to the end, so to, to the east of the function, after an arrow, of course. And this is true even if we have a uh, const in there, so it's actually to, to the east of the const, so it's actually even further east than east const. <laughs> And why do we do this? I mean, the, the usual motivating example is something like this, where the, the return type is actually dependent on uh, the names that are introduced in the argument list. So it's the only place it can go. Also, uh, lambda syntax, if we use explicit return types, they have to use the trailing return type syntax. But apart from these cases, we wouldn't use this in any other code, would we? I mean, why, why would we? Well, most people didn't even think about this. Some people did think about this, and they decided uh, not to do that. So this example, uh, this uh, blog post from uh, Arne Mertz, for example, he says that uh, trailing return types are an oddity in C++. We should use them only when necessary. Now that actually sounds really sensible. But some of us, not just me, but, uh, but quite a few people actually, decided to see what would happen if we used trailing return types everywhere almost always uh, trailing return types, if you like. Uh, now, why, why would we do that? Well, in fact, even Arnie Mertz, after I did this same talk at the ACCU conference, he did a blog post just last week, where he seems to be revisiting his position. So he's been thinking about this as well. But, but why would we do this? Well, this idea didn't come out of, any, uh, of nowhere. Uh, other languages, for example, like uh, Swift, always use the, the trailing return type syntax. Notice it introduces the function with the, the func keyword, same number of characters as auto. Interesting. Uh, Haskell, of course, also uses the trailing return type syntax. Even pure maths uses the tra same trailing return type syntax. In fact, that's where this all comes from. So we could argue that this is the most natural way to do things, which is quite a nice argument. It's not a particularly strong one. So for me, it's more about readability. Because it turns out if you use the same four character keyword in the front of every function, the names line up, <laughs> which is really nice. When you're reading a list of uh, function declarations, it's usually the name you want to see first. That's usually the, the most important thing. And then the types afterwards may, may be important. And even if you have other keywords in there, like, uh, like virtual, you can usually group them quite nicely, so it still reads quite well. So what about consistency with existing code out there? Well, I think John's already covered this quite nicely. We shouldn't let consistency with what we've done in the past hold us back from doing something better. Question is, is it actually better? Well, as well as the, the readability angle, we did look at consistency with other parts of the language where we have to do it that way. We also looked at consistency with other languages, like the Swift example. And remember that four character prefix, the, the func keyword? Same number of characters, but it is more expressive. It is more descriptive. It would be nice if we could use that keyword in C++. Well, C++ is a, a flexible language. <laughs> so we can totally do that. And in fact, why stop there? Let, let's go all in. <laughs> and now we can write code like this, and we can get over our Swift envy. Notice we've even baked East Const into that. <laughs> now, OK, this last slide. I'm not quite so serious about this. But the whole idea of using training return types, uh, it is a thing. It, it does make things just slightly nicer. So I just wanted to raise awareness of it so that you know, maybe you want to try it out yourself. So I've given it a new name, and I'm calling it East End Functions. <laughs> because the return type um, comes out at the end of the function, therefore it should go at the end of the function declaration. I wrote a blog post on it on levelofindirection.com. You should totally read it. Thank you. <laughs>